welcome to simple engineering engineering simplified i am dr neetu ps today we are going to discuss about bridge rectifiers if you are new to this channel please consider subscribe let's move to the video what is a bridge rectifier an alternative to the use of biphase circuit is that of using four diode that is a bridge rectifier in which opposite pairs of the diode contact on alternate half cycles this arrangement avoids the need to have two separate secondary windings so in the previous uh, videos we have seen uh, biphase rectifiers and this is bridge rectifier so compared with that here we are using four diodes and during the opposite alternate half cycles the diodes will be opposite pairs of the diodes will contact so you can see that diode four diodes are there d1 d2 d3 and d4 and this is your secondary winding you are giving an input of 2 240 volt so in the first half cycle the point a this will be positive and the diode d1 will contact and it will flow through the resistance rl and then the path is to the d2 diode and then it will reach as the point b so that is shown in this figure so current flow will be from the point a which is positive then it flow through the diode d1 that is diode d1 will be conducting and then it flow through the resistance rl and then it will reaches the diode d2 as this will be conducting and then it will reaches the point negative then in the other half cycle that is the negative half cycle this point will be negative and this will be positive so the current flow will be from positive it will pass through diode d3 as d3 and d4 will be conducting and d1 and d2 is not conducting so it will pass through diode d3 then it will reaches the resistance rl then it will flow through the diode d4 this path through this path and it will reaches the negative terminal so this is the way either uh, like in the positive half cycle and in the negative half cycle the opposite diodes will be conducting and you will get the current flow output in this form so you can see that for the operation of a bridge rectifier v in is the input voltage which you are giving in the input session and you have in the secondary that input voltage which you are giving it will reaches the secondary so in the positive half cycle point a will be positive and b will be negative and the current will flow from the point a it will reaches over this point then diode d1 will be in the forward biased condition so this will be conducting so current will flow through this path then it will reaches the resistance rl load resistance then it will reaches at this point then diode d2 will be forward biasing so this will be current will flow through this it will reaches the point negative and it will reaches at the point b so in this you have four diodes d1 and d2 will be in forward biased condition d3 and d4 is in reverse bias condition so d3 and d4 will not conduct only d1 and d2 will be conducting and the red line shows the current flow path across uh, the diode d1 d2 and the resistance uh, rl so you will get the output uh, v out over here across your resistance rl next is in the negative half cycle you are giving the input in the negative portion negative half cycle you are getting uh, the say, uh, input you are giving to the positive uh, to the input session and uh, you will be getting at the secondary that is your primary you are giving the input and the secondary you are getting the input and the diodes that this is the negative half cycle so point a will be negative and point b will b will be positive so you have four diodes in that diode d1 and d2 will be reverse biased and this negative half cycle d3 and d4 will be conducting so two diodes will be in forward biased condition and two diodes will be in reverse biased condition 
So D3 and D4 current will pass through and you will get the output at the RL that is the load resistance you will get the output. So the red line show the current flow that is from the point B it will reaches this point then diode D3 will be conducting so it will pass through this point then it will reaches over here then it will be passing through the load resistance RL and finally it will be coming over here and uh, at this point it will reaches this point and then it will be flowing through the di at diode D4 as D4 will be conducting and then it will reaches the point A which is negative. So this is the flow current flow path of the uh, uh, bridge rectifier which is in negative uh, half cycle. So you will get the output over here. So that is in the positive half cycle you will be getting the output and even in the negative half cycle because of diode D3 and D4 it will be conducting and you will get the output over here. So as we discussed the operation of bridge rectifier it avoids two separate secondary windings. We are giving a 240 volt input voltage that is applied to the primary of the transformer. Here we are using a step down transformer. So in the secondary it will step down that 240 volt to 12 volt VRMS value. So on the positive half cycle that point A will be positive with respect to B and two diodes will be conducting that is D1 and D2 and the other two diodes D3 and D4 will be in reverse biased condition. So it will not conduct. On the negative half cycle point B, D will be positive with respect to A and the other two diodes that is D3 and D4 will conduct and D1 and D2 will be in reverse biased condition so it will not conduct. And the current is routed through the load in the same direction on the successive half cycles. So similar to the back phase rectifier, the switching action of these two diodes result in a pulsating output voltage that is being developed across your load resistance RL. And the peak voltage that is approximately equal to 16.3 volt which is uh, 17 volt less than that 0.7 volt when it is in forward that is a forward threshold voltage. So the bridge rectifier with reservoir uh, capacitor. So if you omit this capacitor that will be your normal bridge rectifier circuit and we have included a reservoir capacitor so that what will be the changes in your output voltage. So this is the input voltage which you are applying and to the primary of your transformer and at the secondary you will be getting that as it is a step down transformer you will be getting a 12 volt and your output across your load resistors will be in this form which is for the positive half cycle and this is for the negative half cycle so that that will get repeated and when you are using a capacitor reservoir capacitor there will be a charging and discharging of the uh, capacitors. So the voltage across your load resistance with C1 will be like this. Hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful, please share it with others. Thank you.